In a late afternoon meeting, the government directed Canada's national telecom companies to put their heads together and agree in three areas. The first one is mutual assistance in case of outage. Uh, the second thing is emergency roaming. And the third thing is, is having a protocol around communication uh, for the public and the authorities. The minister calling them out after Friday's Rogers network outage. I was very clear with them that this is only initial steps. Uh, that I expect that we would come with more steps that we want them to take. Canadians flocked to free Wi-Fi spots when the network went down because, Rogers says, of a maintenance update. And the company says some customers are still experiencing intermittent challenges. But first and foremost, we have to understand what it happened. The opposition says today's meeting isn't enough, especially when it comes to compensation. We have called specifically in this case that small businesses that lost revenue because of this outage should be made whole. They should be compensated by Rogers. Questions piling up not just from politicians, but from everyone. I think there's an important shift taking place where we used to think about the internet and our mobile phone services as a luxury, and now I think they're an essential good. Big questions. But if Rogers gets its way, the industry could get smaller. For months, the company has been in merger talks with rival Shaw. Critics say that's the wrong direction. So our prices are continuously high. They have dropped a little bit, but not by much. Um, and uh, we also don't have a lot of competition. And when you have two those two things together, when you have lack of competition and, and very high prices, then you get situations like this. Uh, okay, so Rafi, at that meeting today, the government did put a timeline on these agreements it wants the three telecoms to come to. Andrew, the minister said they have two months to come up with the agreement. He also repeatedly said the CRTC will be investigating the root cause of what went wrong last week. Now, the regulator itself would only tell us it'll have more to say on that on Tuesday. Meanwhile, in a statement late tonight, Rogers CEO said the company is committed to making sure Canadians don't suffer further outages of this kind. And again said it will compensate customers' accounts, but offered no further details on that. Andrew? Okay. Rafi, thank you very much. You're welcome.